Today I'm going to be checking out these Lifetime batteries. They were sent to me at no cost so I could do this review. I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the box. We're going to see what they come with and then we're going to test these things out. All right, so now I've got them out of the box, the, the terminal bolts and everything in a packaging. They have it in its own little section. They have a sticker, making sure you don't throw it away. They have the manuals and everything packaged in these little nice zipper bags and the foam and padding and everything was just really nice. I'm gonna go ahead now and get these things on the chargers, get them charged up all the way, and then we're gonna test them out. So this is what I've got going on here. I've got this battery fully charged. I've got a battery monitor in between this battery and this inverter. And then I've got this inverter hooked up to a battery charger that's gonna charge another battery I have that needs to be charged up. And that's gonna give us a good capacity test of this battery. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the inverter on. Right, as you can see, with the battery monitor I got here and with the inverter turned on, there is very little difference between the actual voltage on the inverter than there is on the battery monitor. So now, you know, we know we're doing good here. I've got this battery charger plugged into this. I'm going to put this on at 20 amps to charge this battery. So it should put a good constant load on this battery to give us our capacity test. You have this charger plus the overhead of all the electricity circling and getting converted. So this is gonna be a pretty constant load here. I'm gonna let this run until this inverter starts letting me know that we've got a low voltage. The other thing is this battery does have Bluetooth. It's a smart battery, so it has Bluetooth enabled and the app will allow me to keep an eye on this battery so I can see when it is getting low and when I can come back in here and check on it. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and do its thing and we'll be back to check on it. So I came in here because the app was saying the battery voltage was getting low and it's down to 0%. And as you can see, 101 amp hours and 1.28 kilowatt hours, which, you know, is the specs of this battery. And it's still got a little bit of juice left to go, but it definitely looks like the battery lives up to the capacity that it said it would and probably a little bit more. Now the inverter has not hit the beeping, which is its low voltage, which would be I think 10.5, I think it is on this one. That's about the same for the BMS, 10.5, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower, but you know, those are the voltages at the point where you're gonna be like, okay, I don't wanna pull any more power from this battery. So we're gonna see right here, which cuts off first, the inverter for low voltage or the battery's BMS for low voltage, 10.8. 10.7 10.6 now 10.5 so it's dropping pretty quick and that's understandable this is low 10.4 again the inverter starts beeping at 10.5 10.3 oh wow look at that so that's actually really good that is the battery's bms turning off to protect its cells from low voltage. So you don't want to overrun the lithium cells that are inside of the battery. So if you get the voltage too low, that starts to degrade the cells. Now, most batteries that I test, the inverter kicks off before the battery's BMS kicks off. And that's because the voltage gets so low that the inverter's like, I'm just not even trying anymore. And I think that's around 10 volts. This battery, the BMS in it said, I don't care if that inverter still wants power, I'm cutting the power. So it's protecting itself, it's protecting its cells. That's good. That is actually going to help make this battery last a lot longer than a battery that actually gives you the capability to go beyond what you should and degrade your cells. It's also a smart battery, so it has a smart BMS in it, which means you have Bluetooth. So yeah, thumbs up from me. Great battery. I definitely would have no problem building a really nice battery bank out of this battery. And I hope this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.